Welcome to Spotlight 360, where we bring you the latest news from around the world. Today's top stories, Israel's Prime Minister Netanyahu tells the military to continue fighting. Faith Evans responds to claims about Diddy and Biggie Smalls. Senegal's president speaks on UN reforms, and former President Trump addresses assassination plots by Iran. Let's dive into the details. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who has instructed the military to continue fighting with full force amid heightened tensions on the border with Lebanon. Despite growing calls from the U.S. and its allies for a ceasefire, Netanyahu reaffirmed Israel's stance to protect its borders and citizens. Clashes along the Lebanon border have escalated in recent weeks, drawing concerns of further conflict in the region. As of now, both sides remain entrenched in the standoff, and it seems there is no immediate resolution in sight. We will keep you updated as this situation develops. In entertainment news, Faith Evans has finally spoken out regarding the long-standing claims that Sean Diddy Combs was involved in the murder of her late husband, rap legend Biggie Smalls. Evans, who has remained silent for years, addressed the rumors in a recent interview, denying any truth to the accusations. She urged the public to stop spreading false narratives, stating that Diddy had nothing to do with Biggie's tragic death. These rumors have persisted since the 1997 murder, which remains unsolved. Evans' statement comes as part of an effort to put the controversy to rest once and for all. In a powerful interview with Western media, Senegal's new president, Basiru Diame Faye, called for significant reforms to the United Nations. He argued that the UN must evolve to reflect the current global demographic and geopolitical shifts. Faye pointed out that the UN structure, particularly its Security Council, remains outdated and disproportionately favors a handful of countries. As one of Africa's emerging leaders, President Faye's voice is adding to the growing calls for a more representative and equitable international body. His remarks are expected to stir up discussions at upcoming UN meetings. Former U.S. President Donald Trump has responded to recent reports of assassination plots by Iran during a speech in North Carolina. Trump, speaking at a rally, called it strange how Iran's president received extensive security when visiting the United Nations this week, given Iran's alleged threats to assassinate him. The U.S. intelligence community has previously reported that Iranian operatives have planned attacks against Trump and other former U.S. officials in retaliation for the killing of Iranian general. Qasem Soleimani in 2020, Trump criticized the current administration for its handling of Iran and reiterated that the threats against him and his allies should not be taken lightly. That wraps up today's top stories. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay informed with Spotlight 360, where we keep you in the loop on the world's biggest headlines. Until next time, stay tuned and stay aware.